I've been experimenting with fractals and I want to show you how I do fractals in Photoshop. To do fractals I create actions and I repeat images over and over again. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm just grabbing, this is just a water reflection flipped on the side, but I just want to grab this piece of yellow from the bed. Um, the yellow looks pretty good. I don't like I'm kind of a little bit out on there, but let's just copy that. So now I go copy, and I'm going to make a bit of a bigger background because I'm going to be repeating this image over and over again. So I can either shrink it, but I don't want to lose its, its shape. So now I've got a little bit bigger. I'm getting rid of the background, uh, the, the original image. So now all I've got is a copy of just this yellow piece that's on here. Don't like that little black piece because that will be get repeated over and over again. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a black background in here. Um, so black on this layer. This is the layer of my yellow. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an action to repeat this over and over again. So if I go over to actions here. I'm just going, I've got some other tests that I've done inside of here. I'm going to create an action. This one's going to be spin test 2, because I've got all these others. Don't worry about all the rest. I'm going to record an action. So now I've got this. Now I'm going to repeat it and copy it. So now I've made a copy of it. It's recording me right now what, what I'm doing. So I'm going to record it. And now I'm going to do a transformation. So control T on my PC. I don't know, Mac, it might be different. So, um, now I'm just going to move this over to a spot that I'm kind of happy with. So right there, it looks pretty good. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording. And now I've got my spin 2 all ready to go. So now I've already got it once. I've got my background. I've got my original letter. And I've got a copy. So now I want to repeat my action that I just did, recorded. And the and if I press it again, there it is. It's, re it's repeating it. So I keep pressing. I keep running the action multiple times, and now it starts creating this fractal kind of movement. And so you just keep pressing it like dozens of times. Um, it starts getting really big, really quick, and it slows down my computer. So what I do is I usually don't select the top one. Select the one below because that was the one that just keeps getting repeated. I select all the ones down below and I merge them together. So I've got my top image and my bottom. Now I kind of move them, move it to an area that I want to get it to or whatnot. Um, now at this point, sometimes I, I'll, I'll copy. I'll, I've highlighted them all and I hit Control J and now I've copied them all. Now I merge all these layers together so then I have another section. And somebody was asking about the movements. And sometimes I just use my arrow key, and when you get multiple layers together and you change colors, you can have this crazy movement that go on on top of each other, which is kind of wild with the eyes. Um, but that kind of answers the question about the, the objects. Um, once I get them all together and I can get multiple layers together and create interesting patterns with them all coming together, it's kind of interesting. Anyways, that's the quick three minutes of throwing together a fractal.